Hey y'all, welcome back to the kitchen for another episode of What's Cooking with the Bear. Today, we're going to make a hot buttered cheesesteak. Super easy, really tasteful, and uh, you know, I've been craving it, so that's what y'all are going to get. So sit back, relax, grab your favorite beverage, and uh, I'll get to cooking. All right, y'all, to get this uh, party started, I'm going to get about a third of a stick of butter and make sure it's real butter. You can use the unsalted butter if you want. That's what I use. So and then we're going to add a heaping helping of uh, garlic because, you know, garlic's good for you. And then I've got two small onions. You can use one large onion. Uh, get that in your pan. Get it all in your pan. And then this is a big a full container of baby portobello mushrooms that are already sliced. We're going to stick them in there. And if you don't like mushrooms, well, too bad you're going to eat them. So, all right. Get all that in there, grab the lid our pan, and uh, cover, have it set on well, a little over medium heat, and let these things cook down and get uh, soft and cooked. So, all right, while that's cooking, doing that, we're going to prepare our beef, and this is a thin sliced sirloin. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it and uh, we're just gonna cut it into nice thin strips kind of like that and it, I mean you don't have to but it makes it easier to eat and it makes it quicker to cook so my knife must be getting a little dull there cut a couple more strips there all right that'll be good got that all cut up all right got that all ready and uh, now we just wait for our onions and mushrooms and garlic to get all softened up and cooked and then uh, We'll move on to the next part. All right, y'all. These are cooking down really nicely. They're starting to get soft. I can smell that garlic and the onion and the mushrooms. Mmm. So, but they're getting there. You know, a little bit of progress, a little bit of time, but it's worth it. So, uh, sorry you guys are getting steamed out again, but uh, so yeah, we're gonna let these cook some more and. Uh, We'll bring you back when we're a little further along. All right, y'all. We got this all cooked down. It's looking really good. Delicious looking. Most of the moisture is going out of it. So we're going to take this. We're going to dump it into our bowl over here. And get it out just away. Leave all them droppings in there. I'm going to take about another third of a stick of butter, throw it in there. I'm going to turn our heat down to just about medium. Get that butter melted, start melting in there. All right. Now we're going to take our beef. Get it thrown in here. Like I said, this, this stuff here will cook fairly quick, it's thin, it's kind of cut down. Alright, got our beef in there. Now I'm going to season it with a little bit of the perfect seasoning. Get that at my local uh, save-a-lot. 
and you can season it with whatever you want. I just like this, like this stuff here, and I'm gonna add a little bit of sea salt, not a lot, just a little. All right. Like I said, that beef will cook up fairly quickly, so I'll put the lid on it, let her steam down a little bit, and uh, we'll get to cooking this stuff. When we get uh, this all cooked, we'll bring you back, and uh, it'll be time to eat. All right, y'all. Our steak is it's cooked, um, but I want to let them juices just, you know, kind of reduce down a little bit more, kind of get that, make it like a sauce. You know, uh, it's thicken up a little bit. Uh, I did add a little bit of black pepper to it, a little bit of coarse ground black pepper. Um, just because uh, I like it. So, uh, but yeah, I'm going to let that cook down a little bit more. And we'll be ready to make us a sandwich. <coughs> Alright, y'all. Got that cooked down some. Also got me a nice toasted hoagie bun. So... Now there's two ways, two schools of thought on how to make these. Um, some people will take their mushrooms, onions, throw them back in the pan, mix it all up. Myself, I like to be able to, you know, judge and, you know, decide on how much the ratio is, you know. So I like to do mine separately. Get that beef in there. You know, so we're gonna grab us some mushrooms and some onions here. Ooh, y'all. Mmm. Some mushrooms in there. All right. Y'all, that is five star cooking right there, baby. Oh yeah. All right. Now, top it off. Get us some nice provolone cheese. Now if you want, you can throw this back under the broiler or the oven or whatever. And uh, get this cheese all good and melty. I'm not, I'm not that big of a schnob, I guess. So there we have that. And uh, we'll uh, get turned around here and uh, do our taste test. All right, y'all, it's time for that all-important taste test. Got our hoagie and our... Mm -hmm. Y'all, I don't talk my mouth will wear out the buttons. Mm. Mm. All right, y'all, that is delicious. Really delicious. Y'all gotta try this one. Like I said, super easy. You know, what I made there, feed a family of four, super easy. So, you know, just make as much as you like. Um, add what you want, add what you don't. If you wanna make it a Philly cheesesteak, add some peppers to that, mushrooms and onions, and uh, you get a Philly cheesesteak. But I like the hot butter cheesesteak myself, so that's what I'm having. Appreciate y'all, love y'all, and as always, bear appetit. Oh, like, comment, subscribe.